Hello and welcome. Hello, this is Tim. And Karen, <laughs> another back porch stamper. Right. Today, I just want to quick show you first what we're doing. Um, we are going to be doing, yeah, I have these all organized. So, um, no, you don't. <laughs> I have them organized in order we're doing them. Okay, we are going to be, <laughs> that is so funny that I can't find that. Yes. I can't find that. No, we're going to be doing, okay, double time stamping triple time stamping and faux double time stamping. So um, it, it'll be fun. So you can uh, play along with us. We'll give you measurements as we go and we'll have fun with that. So we'll hang on with that. And then, but first, you know, we, we got we mail. mail. Yes, we do. We're, we're running a little. Tim had to go fit a nap in because we're uh, getting our grandson right after this. And Tim is attached to his naps. Who here naps? I always just like to know, because you know, it is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I suddenly, he's my timekeeper, you know? So what do we do? And suddenly, Tim, we have three minutes. <laughs> Cindy Cunningham from California. Oh. Life is better with friends like you. How cool is that? Just sending happy mail. Oh, mm -hmm. we love it. This is great. I always just have to notice here. Did you notice this fun paper? So we have strips there here and strips at the top. I always like to know how they're, so we have a combination Thanks. of two different papers from the Europe peach. Beautiful card and we love happy mail. Okay, penny nap sometimes. Tim, you are not alone. I always oh, think good. that that's a more of a guy thing. Janice loves a good nap too. So, okay, good. I'm not sure his was good today, but he can do a power nap. He can do 10 minutes. I did, I was. Um, and that's kind of what he does. And then he's revived for the day. If I nap, I'm kind of done for the day. I just, so I just, um, but gotta be prepared for, you know, some heavy duty sports. So, you know, he's just gotta keep up a little. Okay, and we have, oh, Pat Nagy. Oh, how fun. She's used pastels on this. Uh, be, and that's in honor of the pastels class that we have coming up starting tomorrow night. I think, how fun is that? Ooh, and I love her. So Pat, I have set this aside so we can look at it again. Do you see how she's used her pastels and just created a whole lovely scene there? Northern that Minnesota. Is, yes, oh, totally. And our camping days. Gorgeous card, and that is so fun. But she's from Missouri, so. Well, yeah, but I think camping is kind of, there's some similarities all over, which is pretty cool. And then we have from Janice Griffin. Oh, that's so fun and nice. Thank you. Oh, fun. and I love, look, this is a strip card. Do you see all the strips going that way? And then the strips coming that way. Is that cool? That is. And then the words are following the strips that way with the thanks. That's an awesome card. That is very cool. And a great way to use up scraps, you know, but is, that is just really fun. Very, very colorful, too. Great layout. Love that. And then we have from Darlene Hexum from Utah. Ah, she sent this as a thank you for the birthday card I sent her. Oh, my goodness. Okay, some of you guys really are good at sending out things. And this is just a great card. Look how fun. We've got a thank you in there. And I love this. I can't even think of what the die is called now, but there's a set of three. Isn't that cute? And look how she's just lightly, lightly colored the top one. Huh, yeah. And then she's got the black and white paper and the V shape. So really a striking, kind of a very geometric looking card. Yeah, it's very cool. So very fun. And this paper and that, they just, they just go together. Just kind of has that same look. Awesome card. That is awesome. And we have Kelly Weaver from Wisconsin. Oh, how cute is this? <laughs> Welcome. Oh, and it's just a fun thank you card. And that's to Karen. That is really fun. Look at this. This is some kind of stickers and a lamp with a welcome to the garden. Look, and we are using a sunflower stamp today. That is just adorable. Look at that with the gate. Mm -hmm. The fence. I'm not, that'd be one long gate, but the other fence. <laughs> oh, that is so fun. And the light pole. And the light pole. Yep. Oh, that is such a fun card. So good. Jennifer said she just got her pastels today just in time for class. So awesome. And you guys know, even if you don't have your pastels yet, you can still join us because you'll always get the PDFs forever. Well, I'm going to mention that in a minute. Oh, and another sunflower card. Nancy Young from South Carolina. See, we're talking sunflowers. Oh, this is a, a stamp set stamping up. It's a retired. Set. I loved the stamp set. Look at all those intricate words. And I love how she's done Sorry, see, words. No, the intricate um, watercolor looks. Watercolor. <laughs> no, 
no. Yeah, I, think, not. But, I think Karen took a nap. And didn't really <laughs> what I really want to notice now, I would take a stamp set like this out and I would stamp the leaves. I'd be so ordinary it, in the bumblebee mm -hmm. and then the inside in black. And how cool is that? She's done the Very reverse cool. to the, the black. So I mean, it's probably more like what black eyed Susan or whatever, but I love that look and even black on the leaves. Oh, that's really striking. And then the bumblebee, how cool. fun is that? And, and a the nice letter inside. Oh, I, I have to read the top of this. Okay. This is a to-do list. Number one, make cards. Two, spread joy. Three, make Karen and Tim smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love that. And oh, that is so smiling. fun. And she has been busy camping. Oh, I thought that. Um... <laughs> uh, anyway, there's a letter that I'll read afterwards, but I saw that top part and thought that is just awesome. Yes, you've made us smile. You make our day. That is so wonderful. <laughs> it's so great. Um... Tammy, that is a really good question. She's asking about getting labels attached straight on the number sheets. You know what? I'll make a quick video this weekend about that, okay? Because I do have some fun hints for you. Oh, this is fun. This is Cindy Roy thanking me for a su surprise package with her. Okay. That is so fun. Look at this. That is beautiful. This is. Wow. It is not a stamp up thing it is gorgeous but i always look at things and then i think okay what might we have that we could do something similar to too so i think that's how we all just kind of stretch our imaginations but this is gorgeous look at these different layers and so anything that you can cut out different layers like that that is just a gorgeous card oh thank you so much that is just so fun all right. Janet is in Idaho and she's moving to Louisiana and she's loading the moving van today. <laughs> so, of course, it's raining. Haven't had rain in how long? And the rain's the van moving. I thought that is very fun. Plus, that's all a paper kind of thing. Oh, that's paper. Yeah, but is that okay. just stunning? That is just stunning. It is. Beautiful card, but happy moving day in spite of that. Sherry Tackett from, is that Michigan? Can you tell? I think I think it's Michigan. Oh, oh I can tell right Lincoln. there. It is Michigan. <laughs> there is the poster part. Oh, and there's a letter in here. And I will. Oh, this is the hey, thank you for her birthday card too. Oh my goodness. Um, do you guys ever get thank yous for sending birthday cards? I am just totally amazed and impressed and and um have you ever got touched a, that you would do that? that thank so you sweet. card for sending a thank you card. <laughs> I guess we card makers can just keep things going. I love this in symmetry and look at her three flowers. And then I love how she's layered the background, the two designer series paper, one and the other. That is just so fun. Thanks you guys for sharing. And then we have from Susie Tweeden. And this is a belated Birthday card for Tim, and I think how fun is that? So Tim's most needed thing, a bookmark with all kinds of things of interest to him. We've got the house, especially, there's you, Tim, yes. right there. And mm -hmm. a little easy peasy. <laughs> that's all, that's great. And look at all the things and? here. Don't worry, oh, oh, all kinds of, pray, hope, and don't worry, Padre. Okay, she's got all kinds of messages on here. And look at this, pizza, coffee, farm animals, <laughs> barn. <laughs> what is that? Craft Queen. Oh, look at, well, you know, and look how fun this is. This is just with scallop circles hmm. all in a row and an Very interesting cool. use of ribbon with one color going one way and then yep. tying the other way. Happy belated birthday. She could have either said that or, you know, it could even be early birthday now, Susie. I said it would be wonderful because <laughs> we love, you know, Tim loves getting cards <laughs> all through the year for anything. How cool is that? All these fun little things. Happy birthday. Thank you for being a friend. Years young. 72 years young, kind people are my kind of people, just all kinds of things. Sending smile, you are truly awesome. That's really fun. Thank you, Susie. Oh, what fun cards. That is so great. So thank you so much. And we have our the uh, stamp set that we give away each week just for commenting or sharing. And this was the one for this past week. So the winner is announced today and it is Jean Shoot. Just message me your address and we'll pop that in the mail to you. And the one we're going to give away this week is beautiful day. And, you know, I love to have something that fits in with what we're doing. And you'll see when we're doing these cards today with the double time stamping, this would be a great one to use. So I thought this would be a perfect stamp set mm -hmm. to give away. 
And uh, oh, I absolutely love the stamp set. Okay, so that is just for commenting. And the winner is you have until like Wednesday evening when I finally get around to drawing. So um, make sure you do that. Also make sure Monday night, we're announcing three people that are getting little prizes just for going over and voting over on my karentitus.com. I have a post with cards made by a bunch of my downlines. You're just voting for your favorite over there because we just love the interaction. And then there are links to go visit some of them. And then my last comment was the pastels class. I just thought I'd show one more card. I've been showing bits and pieces. And I was talking with Holly because she did the PDFs for me. And she said, now, how are you going to group these into just three sessions? <laughs> so I said, I do get a little carried away. So um, here's another one that's really fun. And the class is meant to be like a smorgasbord. So, you know, we meet three times and there's a bunch of techniques in each one. And then you get to pick and choose what things you want to use and and then people just share what they do. So you don't see just my ideas, you see everyone's ideas and we all interact and it's always a lot of fun and you have access forever. So if you can't make it live, it it's just fine. So let me know if you're interested in that and let's get started on our double time stamping. This is another goodie but oldie that we've done many times. I'm gonna show you these first two cards because they are really just done the same. And you'll notice it's the same stamp set and in the back for stampers, I did give measurements for what your cards could be. But if you have some paper, you can easily cut along with us. So do you mind when I say stuff like it's oldie but goodie, not goodie but oldie? Which is the correct way? Oldie, oldie but goodie. What did I say? Goodie but oldie. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can correct me. I? I, I'm used to that in real life, Tim. Why, why would I be offended online? <laughs> Because it's public. Guess, guess. <laughs> it's public, you know. No. <laughs> okay. You might be embarrassed. If, if you ever say anything that really offends me, you'll just notice the thing will go dead because I'll just yeah. sign this off. <laughs> I'll start working. That's right. No. Anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> My God, this awesome. Okay. Oh. And Tim, you are Jeannie not says she loves watching us live. She's a natural. Thanks. Oh, these are so fun. Anna or Anna, however you go from Germany. This is just so fun. You guys are from all over. And I would love seeing where people are from and from all over. So the only thing now with this card, the only measurements that matter. So this is the one I put out because we're going to have our base card. And then we go just go a quarter inch smaller. So this piece is five and a quarter by four. And then these two other pieces are three by four and a quarter and then a quarter inch bigger. So three and a quarter by four and a half. I will have all these measurements on my blog sometime this evening, but it'll be after our grandson goes home, but it'll be up. So you can um, always catch them there. If she can, if she can. <laughs> if I haven't fallen asleep, no. <laughs> she plays a lot of soccer and yeah, all and we, kinds of. We've been having him, well, quite a bit lately. because His, dad's his dad is house. painting the house. So, and we just love, Hang out with them. Today's a little warm to be outside, so I think we're going to be inside. Okay, so now we're going to, for this, we are going to be using Delicate Dahlias, which is one of my favorite stamp sets, and it is one of the free stamp sets. I will decline right there. Okay. Um, with a $100 order, this is a free stamp set. But know that you could use anything that you have. This is fun. It's a two-step stamp. So we have two different size flowers. We have a bunch of words. We have the leads. So I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. But to do a card like this, and because this is a photopolymer and they're larger, little ones I don't worry about. When they're larger, I do like to put them on a some kind of a pad. Even putting them on a catalog helps. Anything with a little extra cushion because you aren't getting a lot on this. And so the first one we're going to do is just this one, just totally simple. But we're all using, we're switching them all to just use the two colors so I don't have to clean these in between. Okay. So I want these temporarily attached. Without seeing how this is done, this looks complicated. Mm, so you have not done this. I have not. That's a cool look. Uh, you guys know how attached I am to glue dots. And they make a nice temporary attachment because they're easy to pull off. So this is how I'm going to have them together and here I'm gonna have you I'll have you help do this okay so first I'm going to do the large stamp I'm going to ink it up 
And I'm just going to put it on there. I'm going to have you do the small one. Someone's persistent. <laughs> it is the same person. Okay. We will. Okay. I'm going to give you this one. And we're, we're not even doing the leaves. So you're just going to add that a couple of places, wherever you want it to be. Whatever you, doesn't get in my way. You know, because I'm, I'm here. I did that. Okay. You can fill in with some of those. Okay. Yeah. Mind? Cool. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, Becky says she loves the stamp set. Yes. <laughs> Diane says she loves that we work so well together. Well, we'll see. Sometimes we do. <laughs> okay. Do a few more. Oh, really? We'll, we'll just fill it in. Because, see, this one's more filled in. Since I don't have the leads, we'll just fill it in with flowers. Ooh. And do a couple more around down here, too. Is that okay? Anything's okay, Tim, because this can be your card. We'll let you send this one out, see? Ooh. So it's, it's all good. How about a couple more down here and fill in those spaces? <laughs> now I'm telling him what to do. If you don't want to, if you're done, let's go, leave it be done. Okay, we're done. Okay, now I'm going to point out a couple things here. <laughs> do you see a line? Do you see how there's mm -hmm. a line across there? I'm going to explain how this happened and why we do this. And then do you see? Do you see how these jump right over there? So because this jumped over there, and then you didn't re-ink it. Ooh. That dark, dark part, oh. I'm just trying to see if this makes sense to people, is the part that didn't come oh. around there. So isn't that cool? Yeah. So I'm going to do one more and just show what I mean by this, which totally doesn't matter. Um, I guess this isn't the color to see because usually you can even see on here. It'll be darker. But isn't that cool? So that's how. it's. I made a mistake just so can you a teachable <laughs> moment. But you'll notice on this, so this is why this is a, this is just pretty fun because you see we have – we're going to now pull this off, and this is where I like my glue dots because I can just kind of pull it sideways, and I won't get anything. Oh, cool. pulling it sideways is a trick. Well, I can pull it straight off, too, but this way I'm not bending the paper or anything. Mm. And now I want to just I'm going to take off the little glue dot that's sitting there. Can so I do I that? I have a little bump. Better than my fingernails. Oh, it doesn't matter if I tear it, and I've got one here. I'll take this, too. But now what's cool is to hide that little bump. This is where we're going to put it on paper, just a quarter inch bigger. So can you see what I'm doing here? I'm going to put this one on. Uh -oh. You really want that off, don't you? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, it, it's okay. And then my favorite way to put things on, you know, is, is, is with glue dots. So I'm just going to put a glue dot in each corner. Um, I just... <laughs> I just always like using okay now you're gonna put this on and just kind of match up the pieces seriously mm -hmm. and it just makes such a cool look <laughs> yes there really are no mistakes in cover they're just i always you know one of my favorite sayings is a lot of layered cards didn't start that way make a mistake, add a layer, you know, <laughs> so, and then that's going to go in there. Wow. So how cool is that? It is very cool. Now, the reason we're going to do a second one, I decided. Get it correct. <laughs> no, but I've seen some people asking about how you connect these together. And number one, I want to say this to me could be a very impressionistic stamp. So I don't think you need to have them lined up together. And of course, it doesn't need to be perfect. But I thought we might as well show that while we're at it. So I'm taking the same two sizes again. And then this also shows I'm, that this works, you know, with a, this is an outline stamp that you can color in. So any stamp is going to work on this. And then you're going to notice I put a little black mark right there. I thought I was going to be clean that off. For you. Oh, <laughs> good luck. Good luck. It is, a, it's permanent. Okay. And I'm going to put, couple of these on. And now I didn't put this like down or anything. It doesn't really matter, but I know that I kind of put them this way. I could have put them anyway at all. Now when I come to add my pool party, I like to look at pool party on this, even though we're using Coastal Cabana on the back. Do you see I've got my same dot down here? So what is going to help me know is kind of generally that same area. I would just say when we're 
on live, things don't always <laughs> work quite as well. And it can be impressionistic. Look at that line that's in between where it kind of jumps that. And here, here I think you can see on my stamp, you see that line where it still has the ink? Okay, and then I'm do the same over here. Oh, I think that one's off because I'm not, I usually look directly over it when I'm doing it, but it doesn't really even matter because it's very impressionistic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks. Sammy says this is so much fun. So it's so fun. And then I'm going to do the same with this. I put a little thing on here and I was going to, so I'm going to do this one a little differently. I'm going to do one down there and then let's do one sideways. Whoa, that was pretty bad. Well, so let's do another since we're in the middle of all this. We'll do another there. Okay. So now when I come, I'm going to know that this is still in that area. It just helps me in that area. And it's totally fine if I chose to do mine this way as long as I somewhat remember. Because it just makes it a little speedier because I know, okay, in general, it's going to be this way. And then this one, I did a, I did this one different. Do I, do I remember? No, you don't. Or did I not? I don't remember. So I don't remember and it's not going to matter. But job. those little hints will just tell you. So I could on my stamp decide to do them sideways like this, but it still is going to help me remember if I'm doing these right at the same time. If I'm going to do this one and then this one. It will be really easy to remember which way that I went. So that's just a little tip for using this. And then it's just the same. So I won't finish this one, but I'm just going to pull those apart just the same. Add, add my others. And we're going to end up with a card like this. I think that is just pretty awesome. I'm going to let you clear the decks here. Can I ask you a question? Yes. This seems, no, they don't. I was going to say that they, they seem different in, in darkness. But they're not. They're very similar. Okay, so I'm going to give you all of these pieces to just put over on the sofa. You guys should see our sofa. Uh, you would not be able to sit on it. Okay, now we're going to do some other things with this very same technique. <laughs> oh, a bunch of you are waiting to get Christmas cards to work on here. Um, okay, so this is the next one. So first I'm going to show you. Do I need these washed? No, because I'll, I might still be stamping with them. I'm going to show you this card, and this one has lost its name. This was in a oh, a swap from, from a while ago, but I want to show. Do you see how this is the same thing, only now it's triple time stamping? Hmm. And I <laughs> often love, you know, I keep a couple of boxes of just like techniques and layouts, things that I like to do, because I can go back, and then I'll just measure from those and work from that, or I can create my own. But I just wanted to recreate this, and I thought I really love this layout. So this is then what I made. That is beautiful. So these are going to be done basically the same way. We're just adding another layer. But I think it's too complicated for me. <laughs> I think you're on your own. No, I don't think so. Okay. Two and a quarter. So I'm telling you these briefly, but also just know these will be on my blog tonight. And the thing I want you to really remember is that you're going to just pick your white pieces first. You're just going to design. This could be, these could be all different kinds of sizes. And then what you're doing is going a quarter inch or an eighth inch, whatever you want, a little bit bigger to put under it that will also hide the little, you know, the, the, the little parts. And then the base card is always the same. It's the base card and then a four by five and a quarter. Okay, so for doing this one, we'll set that aside. I have to, okay, Nancy says, thanks for being reminding her of this oldie but goodie. I know it is just fun to, okay, so if I'm gonna do this, what I'm gonna do first is kind of figure out, this is gonna be my base card. So I kind of wanna know where I want these to be. Okay, so I'm gonna lay them out here. Okay, and that's good. And then I'm going to use my glue dots, just like before. I'm gonna put two on, and I'm just gonna build, build my card. Okay, 
Okay, whoop, that one's not very straight. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so this is the part I'm stamping in. This we set aside. And Tim, I'm gonna let you do it. Oh, please. Because <laughs> now we're taking, so on a card like this, I first did the words because I wanted to have, I wasn't gonna add another layer of words. So I'll go ahead and put words on. These are from this very same stamp set. It says, know that you are loved. And then you are just going to go fill in. There's your card, just fill in. Karen, are you sure? I am sure. <laughs> with what color? And we're going to send out Tim's card. Not, so this is with black. 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 Yep, it is black. Because see, yeah, then we're going to color the white in. shirt. Oh, yeah. And yeah. And, you know, um, haven't you learned that when it's playtime? <laughs> I'll get to him in apron. <laughs> Jeannie says she hasn't tried it with the three layers, so she'll do it this afternoon. So I thought, and it's so fun because they all kind of will turn out a little different, no. isn't it? But isn't that cool? They're okay. Yes, it's it totally good. Been no, no, you're totally good. And you know, in fact, sometimes it's fun to do it more like in a gray or a crumb cake or something lighter, and then you get a whole different lighter look, which is pretty cool. And I'll actually do the coloring in for Tim after the show because, you know, he's not much of a color and I love to color. So I see. Yeah, I like putsy things because when I just can kind of sit and listen to something and. That's why she and, likes me. So now, and I want to point out on mine, do yours this way. Do you see how they're all regular? I really like that as a as a switch. See, mine are all kind of random. So what, you want me to do it? What? Yeah, keep doing it like you're doing it because I okay. think that's makes. I just think it's fun to see different possibilities. So put that one on. Awesome. Okay, now you can take those things away. And the rest of it is just what we've been doing. You just pull it apart, mm. add your little piece under it. See, I can do it. And then we you end up with this. Mm. Isn't that fun? It is. Okay, we're gonna do one more triple time before we move on to the, to the faux, which means false or fake, you know, because we'll, we'll, we'll do that too. Okay, the next card we're going to make is this one. Oh, so the last one we did, this was the Celebrate Sunflowers. Uh, that's really a beautiful stamp set. Okay, and on this one, i show you the card that I copied the dimensions from. Check out this. So here is another awesome Christmas idea. I may have to do this on one of my Christmas ones. How cool is this? This was a Christmas card we received from Jennifer Helm. So thank you, Jennifer. And it is right in my idea box. But do you see how it is the same thing? But now so it's just cool. cattywampus. That is, I think, a very stunning card. It looks very complicated. It does. It does. It makes you wonder, well, how did they do that? And then how did they stamp it and get them all to line up? That's kind of what you look at and wonder. I said, the million dollar question. Uh, so we're going to do with the butterflies. And once again... I don't know if it's helpful or not. I know some of you like to do screenshots, so that's why. So our smallest, we've got two by three and a quarter, and then two and a quarter by three and a half. Do you know our next ones are the same as the last card? So three by four and a quarter, and three and a quarter by four and a half. So I want to point this out. This is the very same card. We've just added one more layer. So we'll make it really simple there to just be thinking about that. So with this, we're going to do the same thing now. We're going to take our glue dots and, and just know the dimensions will go up. I know I keep seeing comments on here. What are the dimensions again? But um, if you missed the screenshot, you can either come back and watch right away and then do a screenshot if you know it, just to keep that still. I'm just going to move this this part off. I think you can take that part off because we're just showing the actual stamping. I'm going to put that on however I want it to be. And now when I'm using this great big butterfly brilliance stamp, I really do like to use the stamp rattus and, and you'll see why. And actually, because this covers my whole paper, I can't really use these unless I attached it yet to another piece of paper. So I'm just going to use, I'm going to do the same thing and put these on. I just couldn't get by without my glue dots. <laughs> and now I have to look and see. I kind of did these over here. And okay, I think right around there is going to be just fine because I already put that on. And it's going to be fine. Now, what I love about using this, how many of you have a stamparatus? So I think uh, 
If I'm using this as a stamp and I don't have the stamp radis, I ink it and then I lay my paper on top and then I rub it to get it all on. What's really nice about a card like this, or in general, a large stamp, if you don't get it all inked perfectly, you can go back and again. do it again. And it's in the same place. So I know some people don't even use blocks anymore. They just use this. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to press. And the base of my, okay, anything that goes over is just going to be clean. Okay, now I'll look at this and say, whoa, okay, I really need more there. And look here, you can really tell on here where it didn't press in. Ooh, I, well, I might, I might get a little more ink on this. And I'm going to think about this because I'm only going to do this a second time. I could do it longer, but for the sake of time, because <laughs> we don't want to ever be kicked out again. I can really tell this is where mostly I need it. The rest I can kind of hide, but okay. So I'm just going to press Maybe extra hard there. Maybe I need Jim's bounding. <laughs> I think that might be it. Yes. Oh, that bounding. did it. Bounding did. And you guys look, then the rest of it is just the same. We're just going to put it on things a quarter inch bigger. Now I took them all apart and colored them first. And then we just layered them and put them back together where they match. Hmm. I think that is so fun. That's very really cool. Okay, you can set all that aside. Well, <laughs> and then, no, I don't need anything. Oh, a bunch of you love your stamparatus. All right. Sean says she has one, doesn't really use it. Now you might, this might be a good reason to use it. And Rhonda said she still likes blocks. I Well, I do too. I, I mostly grab my blocks because they're there, they're easy. But for things like this, I do love having it. Okay, so the other thing we're going to do, and I was going to point this out first. I uh, This is the Many Messages stamp set that comes and has dies that you cut all these out with. This is what I do. I just keep some words, because a lot of times if I make a card and I just need a place for some words, then I have those. So the next two cards I'm showing you, I did, I just use those. So this is going to be... Oh, double stamping. These two cards, mm. aren't they pretty? So what's interesting about this, can you see what, how this is done? <laughs> no, this is a, like a, an advanced class. <laughs> and I'm going to show you a couple others that I've gotten in swaps after this. You want to watch. But do you see how it looks the same? Because it's like, whoa, that is from there. But this is actually just one stamp and then cut out. Mm. And then we've just colored the inside. So to do this, uh, which which direction should I make? I, I'm going to do it this way. You know, it just really doesn't matter. I'm using Free as a Bird, another gorgeous stamp set. And I am going to do this. <laughs> oh, uh, Linda was saying she could blend a background before uh, stamping the butterflies. Yes, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. A great thing. So see, I love it when you guys get your imagination. And you know, in the Backport Stampers all week, this is what we're sharing. Anything to do with uh, double time, triple time stamping, or faux stamping. So uh, what is, try a bunch of things. What's faux stamping? A faux is, fake. or faux double. Fake, right? Yeah, F-A-U-X. It's like, yeah, pretend or fake. Okay. Not, not, not really the real thing. But this is what's cool. Now, you could use a heart. You could use any kind of shape you want here at all. I'm using one of the stitched rectangles, and I'm using the little, the cute little, the cute little embossing machine. Pink and gray. Now, if you don't have an embossing machine yet, people will call me and ask which one should I get. Personally, I would always recommend starting with the big one because it will do everything and it will do multiples. But this is sure handy for traveling, and it sure fits on my screen better. So I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to put this in. I'm just going to. Decide where I want that. I could attach it with a little scotch tape if I'm afraid it's going to move, but I'm not really caring. Or, uh, yeah, I'm not going to care when we're on live if they turn out or they don't. It's all fine. <laughs> okay. Now you can take that. And now we're going to pop this out. And how cool is that? And then 
Mm. I'm just going to color the part that's popped up. So that's also could be called the spotlight card where you're just choosing one part of something to spotlight. I ran this too close to the edge, so we'll ignore that. And then, so that's colored, and then it's just popped up on dimensionals. Mm. But how cool is that? So I'm going to show you two other cards that go with this. Oh, okay, here is one from Kathleen Hopperstad. Kathleen is actually in my team of demonstrators. So shout out to Kathleen. And this, so oh, I just think that's really pretty. So this is very similar to the other. Just notice you could put uh, another color under it. So here's where we want to just look at the difference. On, okay, if I can find, um, where's the other card that was like this? I put them over. Oh, do you just want to hand me the other floral what card that was like that? The one that had flowers like this? Let's see if we can find it. This one? The other one. Yeah, this is where we'll see if team. Yeah, no, that top one. Yeah, th that's good. Okay. I just want to point out how similar these are. Now, this is done that original way. And uh, this is really quick. You don't need an embossing machine. You don't need, you know, um, anything else. And But see, we have the color paper under there to hide those little lines. On this one, we could still do that. We could put colored paper under there, but we don't need to because this can just be popped up. So you'll see underneath there, you see it's just the back of the card. And I just think they are both really stunning. Okay, here's another. I'll let you open this one. I forgot to open this. I think these are just really cool. This is from Michelle Lynch. And I wanted to point out, see, her, hers is the same thing. But she did a block stamping. We need to do this again. I haven't done this in a long time to make a cool background with a block. But see, there's her background. So do you see how that extends? And then this part is cut out with a die and popped up. So, and I just love, and, and this just extends on. So this part is colored in. Um, and, and this is done as a background. It's not like we did before where it's a flower and you cut it in. So it just shows how you could do anything. This is more of, this is just a black stamp over that background. I think that is fun. And one last one. By Monica Gilberti. By Mo Monique Gilberti. And yeah, Monica is how we say it. Um, that's how you say it, Tim? I, well, no, there's <laughs> oh, Monica. Oh, it is Monica. <laughs> I thought because he said Monique, I thought it was maybe a Q-U-E. Monica? Yeah. Yes, it is Monica. Okay. <laughs> and then you go, okay. I don't know. I said, but I'm going to point out a couple things about this card. And this is another current stamp set in the catalog. And do you see how she stamped on this? And then it's run through an embossing folder and it makes it look kind of canvassy. And then look, she's taken a die. See, it could be any shape. And if you could see under there, you're, I'm going to, I don't want to mess it up. But again, it, that part is just cut out and popped up. And when you first look at it, you think, how in the world did she match up those flowers? But that is how, and because it's raised, it looks different. So um, Kathy said it'll look good with the butterfly stamps from this month's paper pumpkin. Ooh, that would be fun to do. That would be great. Um... And Rhonda says you could use a sticky note for the square part too and add a little color. Yes, they're, okay, you guys are full of ideas. Can I just say I love that? You know, we are all more creative together than we are separately. Oh, and I sure. love, <laughs> and I love looking at cards. I, I just, and I notice different things about them every time. And I love picking out little different techniques and um, different things like that. So now it's your turn and we can't wait to see what you do. And I'm looking forward to spending this weekend with some of you Friday and Saturday. So I have to tell my Monica story. Monica, there's okay. a, one of my favorite people at the at the post office at the airport is Monica, and she doesn't pronounce it Monica. So it oh, is, that's where so there is okay. a Monica, and it's oh. spelled the same way. And that's where that came from. Okay, so it might the be, rest of the story we might have anglicized it. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Those are just really fun. We love that you guys spend this time with us. We just totally we do. Appreciate that. Our life would be quite boring without you. <laughs> no, we just say we, we, we sit just, around and wonder what to do. <laughs> we might have a cleaner house, but you crafters all relate to that. You don't have to do what I'm doing to have a craft house, you know. <laughs> I, are you talking about my kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks. Let me know if you have any questions, if I can help you with anything. And I appreciate all the orders. And can we wait welcome to those of you who want to get the starter kit and just 
we're just having a blast. Thank you for being here. Can we wait? Room. Can we wait? No, just wait. Wait till we get Can kicked we off? Wait? Yeah, wait oh. 10 minutes. Let's wait 10 minutes <laughs> to get kicked off. Ever since we got kicked off that time, it's made me much more aware of the time. <laughs> so she but, rushes even more. I know. I know. Hey, we pack it in, but we, we have a good time. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.